So, what's up, guys? How do you do? Welcome to Session Program Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to install, download, and install Knockout.js. Uh, okay, we had actually introduced Knockout.js in detail in our previous tutorial. So, to download it is very simple. You can just uh, type this one into a browser knockoutjscom downloads slash index.html then go choose of course the download you can either download uh either okay click any of the buttons to download the version that you want version 3.4.2 or version 3.5 i'm using the beta 3.5 so that's one way right here direct download then of course you we going to add it we're going to see that one how to add it in a short trial now of course yeah you can use that one now the second way is actually to use the bower okay bower is a clan side package manager so you just have right here bower install knockout and then this will install for you now once you've um for example downloaded let's take for example the first way you come and then via the script attribute we're going to look at this in an example okay then of course you add the path to the knockout.js okay now you can also use the cdn so if you come right here you can find various uh cdn networks okay content delivery networks um if you're going to use it of course online i'd recommend use the cdn okay so another way is actually the way which i'm going to use is of course the knockout okay so you can just head over and then search knockout in the npm so npmjs.com head over right there then search knockout okay now if you go to that particular or you go type this particular url in your browser then of course it's going to bring us to this one so this is the way i'm going to use of course you can see right here this is how we can install it so we can either install it locally in our project or of course globally and we're going to see that one so of course this is what i'm going to use npm install knockout in fact let me come uh let's now move over to our ide and see actually how to do that one okay okay so let's jump right here and of course see what we have so in this uh, IDE, I'm using Visual Studio Code by the way. So what we have, of course, just navigate, create our project. Then once you've created your project, just, of course, go to the terminal. I'd recommend you use, um, uh, of course, an editor as good as Visual Studio Code. However, you can use whatever you like. So, of course, you just go to the terminal. And then we're going to type right here, npm install knockout. Now, if you use this one, then it's going to install it of course locally in your folder if you want to install it globally they have done you add this dash g okay so dash g is going to install it in globally of course in your machine so that you can reuse it in other projects okay now for example once it's you've installed it globally now you can for example see mine right here where it's actually located okay so go to your user directory in your machine okay replace this one right here with the username and then you go over to the node modules so you can clearly say i have knockout then we come to the build then of course the output then of course we're going to use this one knockout latest okay so if we come to our project which we're going to write in a short trail you can clearly see that how we are adding our knockout right here so these are knockout you can see of course i've reference it from right here so that's actually how we reference knockout how we download and use knockout in the next of course yeah okay now in a few seconds later on i uh, will going to actually write our code both javascript as well as our uh, html so stay tuned so welcome back we are now jumping over to our code go ahead of course create a folder now i have like here hello this is my project name okay so as you can see i'm having two files now this other one is just a documentation and markdown don't bother about it so what we worry about of course is the index.html as well as the main.js now this index.html is going to be of view 
then of course main.js right here is going to be our view module so that's what we're going to work with okay so we come right here i'm using visual studio code the first thing we're going to do is that of course we're going to create our my view module you can clearly see it's a function now we come right here we then say this dot nebula name equal to boomerang okay then so these are actually my data so inside my view module i have my data nebula name nebula type then of course the value then of course this dot distance a thousand light years then this dot dominant gas equal to hydrogen so this this is my view module now what we need to do is to now activate our uh knockout.js okay so come right and say ko which is of course our knockout.js object dot apply bindings then we pass in an instance of our my view module now that's all we need to do right here okay that's all we need to do inside uh this particular javascript file the next thing we jump over to our index.html first we're going to have our html tags then of course our header tags then the title then of course the body tag now inside the body of course the first thing is that we're going to reference our as you can clearly see right we're referencing our knockout okay so i'm referencing it from where it was downloaded so go ahead do the same so once you have that one then of course we come also reference the main.js now it's important that you reference main.js after referencing the knockout .js because main.js is actually depending on our knockout okay given the tracing the knockout library so please make sure you get the order right now next you're going to come right here of course define some dom elements okay remember this index.html this is actually our view okay so yeah our view so we come right here we come first nebula name just inside a paragraph then of course a strong uh element then you can clearly see i'm using the data bind attribute to bind my data so you can remember the nebula name it was actually defined right here nebula name okay now we are binding it of course using the data bind attribute to right here inside our dom so we're going to do the same thing for the nebula type we use the data bind attribute to bind them okay so we're going to bind them also the distance and lastly the dominant gas we're going to bind them right there so that's what we're going to have guys okay that's what we're going to have the next thing now is to actually run the project okay so to run my project i'm using visual studio code i have an extension that i'll just right click this one first i have to save them so i save them all then of course you just run the your index.html so i'm just going to say open with default browser okay and so guys if you run the project you can clearly see what we have right here nebula name boomerang nebula type h2 region distance a thousand light years dominant gas hydrogen okay we've actually bound our data from the data model to our of course view so you can see this is actually defined inside our data model okay now we've gone and then bound them to our view okay so this is actually uh the knockout okay a simple example right here so we'll look at more examples later on but for now we've actually looked at how to install knockout and also how to create our first uh, of course application with knockout where we're actually binding data so that's it go ahead take care i'll catch you in the next class and make sure you get subscribed to our channel programming users tv and also computer science tv we also have our website https camposha.info you can visit it otherwise take care I'll catch you in the next class.